So I was getting ready to make some fried tofu and I decided to film it for you all. So if you are craving something crunchy, fried tofu is pretty amazing and it's really easy to make. So what you're gonna need is a block of extra firm tofu. You're gonna open it up and drain out the water. You're gonna put it on a plate and drain out the extra moisture from the tofu. Now, you don't need to spend a lot of time doing this. You can just kind of put it under paper, paper towels for like 15 minutes to get most of the water out. Here's my tofu. So once your tofu has been drying for about 15 minutes, you're gonna cut it into little squares. Now the size of the pieces are your preference. I like to cut it in half this way and then cut it, cut it in little squares this way. So as you can see, my tofu pieces are cut up into squares and they don't have to be symmetrical or perfect. Um, just bite-sized pieces. So now you're gonna coat your tofu in cornstarch. Um, you can use flour, but if you want it extra crunchy, use cornstarch. So now you're gonna put oil in a pan and kind of heat it up, get it ready to fry up your tofu. Now, you don't need a whole lot of oil. If you have a deep fryer, you can use a deep fryer if you wanted to, it'll make it a lot easier. But essentially you want enough oil to um, cook the bottom of the tofu until it's like lightly brown and then you're gonna flip them over and cook the other side. Okay so I have a bowl of cornstarch and then I just essentially drop the pieces of tofu. Don't overcrowd your bowl. I do these in batches and essentially you can either like shake your bowl or you can get some chopsticks or a fork and just like coat each one. So I do a batch in a bowl and then I put them in the hot oil and let them toast up. I still have some tofu pieces frying up, so that's why the vent is still on, but these, this is what it looks like after you take it out of the pan. Take it out when they're lightly golden brown, but if you want it a little darker color brown, you can, um, you can cook it for longer, just make sure it doesn't burn. And then once you take it out, sprinkle a, sprinkle some salt across the top and it tastes really, really good. 